don't know if this is going to be really impromptu. Uh, this is the dis distributor cap out of my Porsche 205, and uh, uh, due to a, an error uh, performed by a certified Porsche service centre, this fell off while I was driving. Uh, and I needed this car running quite stat, so I'm just going to try and patch this up. So we have. I think I have all the components, uh, that's the uh, conductor rotor thing, here's the rivet which holds it in place in the uh, rotor assembly. Most of this stuff seems to have survived quite well. This has dropped a piece of plastic here so it's going to be a bit unbalanced but it's going to be good enough. And uh, uh, this, I'm not sure, I think this is just a protective cover, has suffered a bit of a scratch on the edge of that. This is super hard old plastic so I don't think it's super critical but I'm going to I uh, try and fix all this and uh, get it back and working. Uh, thankfully the actual distributor cap seems to be in reasonable condition. None of the uh, contacts seem to have been knocked out of place too harshly. So I think there's a reasonable chance of this actually uh, not being entirely destroyed and you can see more evidence of a very, very shoddy certified Pursue service assembly there since they quite obviously didn't bother checking if uh, that uh, spark plug wire was actually making good connection. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just going to try and piece this back together using some epoxy, clean it up a bit uh, with alcohol and stuff and just try and get it sturdy enough to uh, survive a trip to the uh, car testing facility where it needs to be in eh, not long enough. Alright, a liberal uh, uh, application of epoxy later. We've got something resembling a rotor. Gonna clean that up before we put it back in the car. I think this has a decent chance of uh, holding together since uh, it was only kept in by a rivet uh, originally and I put some epoxy down the shaft there to keep it in place and there's also some epoxy underneath the uh, brass strips. I think this has a decent chance of not instantly exploding, at least not until I can get my hands on a properly new one. So now I need to get over to this guy and just kind of clean it up, tape it back together, make it into one piece again. I also use some Capiton tape to try and give this thing some semblance of rigidity. Uh, this is incredibly fragile, uh, probably because it's a plastic part uh, from the 80s that's been sitting in what's essentially an a UV and ozone generator for 27 years. But I think it's going to do good enough. I think it's just a protective cover. I don't think it has any actual purpose aside from stopping dirt getting in and out of the engine. And I'm really hoping that's the case anyway. But just look at that. It's so it, this plastic's just entirely withered and destroyed, but it, it, it's it's hopefully good enough for the time being. It actually cracked while I was just holding it like that. <coughs> Whoops. Uh, so this is drying nicely, not coming apart. So now we're just going to get out of the car, uh, have a look at the actual distributor part, which I thankfully don't think is uh, too damaged, and uh, clean it out a bit, and uh, I'm going to be trying to put this stuff back in. Alright, and here's the actual distributor mount. So, the plastic part goes over all of this stuff, and this is looking. I'm not sure if it's corroded or if it's just old oil splatter. But yeah, I'm a bit worried this could be like some vacuum actuated something, which is depending on the plastic thing because that goes over here. But I don't think so, since uh, we actually have a vacuum actuator there. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to clean this out a bit, we've got some sheared plastic pieces, yuck. Uh, I don't think there's supposed to be any real sprint in this, I think it's just kind of uh, mounted with uh, that the rotor just presses on onto this axle and sits tight, it's a bit sheared from everything coming apart, but I don't think that's going to be a big issue. So the actual, what, what caused all this was uh, the service centre didn't bother. Uh, the, this entire assembly was not put together uh, for more than a test, basically, it seems, because the screws, there are just two screws and one up there, and one, one down there and one up there, which keeps everything together. They just undone themselves and everything just went pop. And then the engine stopped. <laughs>
So yeah, they, they didn't do a good job. There was a bunch of other stuff around here which would basically just... Yeah, they just kind of connected together haphazardly and shoved the, the weather protection sleeves over it and called it a day. So that's the last time I'd bring this thing in for uh, authorised repair, granted. Uh, it did, did last for several phasing kilometres, sadly though it was over the course of many years since I don't drive this car too much. So they're going to go unpunished for their uh, sins. Uh, that's not looking very good. Cheap oxygen sensor. Oh well, that's not the issue we're dealing with today. Uh, so yeah, time to get the air compressor rate and give it a blowjob. Alright, now I just had a closer look at the rotor and uh, we're fucked. Uh, that's actually supposed to be a little plastic piece in there which hooks into the cutout on the rotor of the actual engine part of the distributor. So this is uh, a ruined plastic piece we're not going to be getting. Uh, that's back together very well at all. But I have cleaned it up and uh, if we go to the engine uh, it actually does mount relatively well. Uh, it's going to be a bit fluid. It uh, uh, will have a tendency to move around and drift over time, but we can kind of... It's not entirely loose, so I'm figuring I'll just uh, try and uh, uh, shove that on there, and we'll see what happens. Uh, because I, I'm, I basically just need this to run so I can get this through inspection and uh, then I can order a new one and wait for summer when the grain doesn't look like that to actually fix this properly so we'll give it a go I'll slide it on the best I can and we'll put everything back together and hope for the best oh, if we're all mounted back together unlike on a normal car for distributor this one's mounted behind the battery underneath all this stuff so Service is not a top priority in France, it seems. Uh, but uh, we have a shot. Uh, the rotor mounted relatively well, all things considered. So uh, let's see what happens. This thing's probably flooded to hell and back from before. Why am I missing compression? This car has never uh, liked compression before. What's going on? What's going on? Oh yeah. It does help to actually connect the fuel injector. That has a tendency to make your car far up better. I'm still wondering what's going on, why am I missing compression? We're not missing oil. Why am I missing compression? Hmm. Why am I missing compression? Well, oh, it hasn't run for a while. Perhaps it will warm up to me. Hey! That's not sounding too bad. Pop. One cylinder is not happy. One cylinder is not happy. But it's running. But it's not happy. That's a, that's, that's a lot of 
gasoline going straight through. And it's super high idle. This is a... Uh, something, something, something's fucked. Something's fucked, it's never behaved that way before. Uh, granted from all the cranking of the exhaust system could still be absolutely full of gasoline. That's... That's not an impossibility. That is not an impossibility, but... Uh, hmm. This does run. That's... That's something. And I did notice this trap for this is full enough, which is not good because that's filtered air. Well, I found a replacement trap for that. I've got no idea what happened with the old one. But, uh, yeah, this is not a happy engine. Uh, it's been running for a minute now, and if we look at the exhaust, that's just. We've got one cylinder which is just not getting proper spark. So, ugh. I'm just gonna have to turn that off before we ruin our cat and reschedule my reschedule my inspection and order and basically an entirely new distributor. It was worth a shot anyway, and now we can at least move the car around and get it out of my parking spot for the van. Huh, what a shame. Oh well. Yeah, thank you for watching. Cheerio.